The actor Anton Yelchin is with me. You're in Vancouver and you are shooting yet again something. Yeah. yeah. How are you in school? Good in school? Good. All A's except in gym. In gym? Yeah. <laughs> You're a child after my own heart, I have to say. Yeah. But your parents are athletes. Yeah, so I think that's enough in our family. Yeah. <laughs> Making their first appearance in a professional competition, the former stars of the Leningrad Ice Ballet. Arena Karina and Viktor Yelchin from the Soviet Union. 38 years of age, Victor. He has a lot of experience. These two now married and live in Los Angeles with their seven-month-old son. This is the beginning of a new career for them and a new life. When I find out I'm pregnant, I found a book written by Benjamin Spock, the American doctor. And I was just follow everything what he was writing about pregnancy, what to think, what to look at. And I was going to most beautiful places in Leningrad because he was saying that your child can feel it, can see it, can sense it. He's already growing up in you. So I was very happy. I was extremely happy that I have a baby. Arena Karina and Viktor Yelchin bring that music with them from the Soviet Union. That is the theme song from a Russian movie called The Slave of Love. Irina already was pregnant, and I saw the situation in Soviet Union it was really scary. Anti-Semitism is on the rise in the Soviet Union. Five years ago, no one would have said there is any anti-Semitism. Today there is. Everything was due fault. Victor went to visit his brother who lived in the United States, and he came back and he said, when baby would be born, we have to leave. I had my mom's jewelry, my grand-grandmom's jewelry, which we couldn't take because it belonged to the country. So all our belongings, which was a lot for Russians, and we only had one month to sell it all. All what we earned and what we had, for all our life in Russia, we got $8,000. But it doesn't matter how much, we didn't need it. We had Antosha. 